So let's talk a little bit about some of the equipment we use with uh, digital SLR photography. The most important being the actual digital SLR camera body. Right here we got a couple bodies. This is a Canon EOS 5D Mark II. This is a Nikon D200. A lot of photographers are real eager off the bat to get the best body possible. You know, they'll spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a body. And then, you know, they'll, they'll just kind of pick up some lenses um, that may not be of the highest quality. And that's, that's a little bit backwards, to be honest. The most important part of your setup is your lens. If you have a really good body and, a, and you know a poor quality lens, it's like buying a Ferrari and putting bald tires on it. So you know, stay within your budget with both, but if there's anything you maybe want to splurge on at first, definitely consider splurging on lenses as those are gonna affect your image quality um, much more than the camera body that you're actually shooting with. Let's take a look at how this camera actually functions, this digital SLR. SLR stands for Single Lens Reflex Camera. So actually what's happening when we look through this viewfinder is we're seeing the image reflected from a mirror that's kind of blocking the sensor. When we click the shutter button, that mirror flips up and exposes the sensor. We're gonna go over some of these shooting modes real quick on the 5D Mark II. Right here you can see I'm, I'm on manual mode. So in manual mode, I control the shutter speed and the aperture. I control everything. I look through the camera, I look at the metering, I control what's going on with the camera. And as a professional, and understanding how my camera works and how to expose the scene, I always want full control of the camera. That being said, when you're starting out, you know, you might not have a great understanding of exactly how to expose in every situation. You could definitely use some help from the camera. The green box mode or the full auto. And this is probably what most beginners shoot in and they're most comfortable with. The good part of auto is that the camera makes all the decisions for you. The bad part of auto is that the camera makes all the decisions for you. There are times when the camera meters off a, you know, a tone in the scene that might be brighter than the average of the whole scene. So it might be giving you an exposure that's not really representative of the whole scene in front of you. These are the occasions when you kind of want to override or understand when the camera is maybe not necessarily making the best decision. And that's when you go in and adjust the settings. So, you know, by the end of this program, you should be able to understand how and when to do that. Moving on from full auto, we get into program mode here. And in program mode, it averages the scene for me, it sets the settings, and then I can actually make some adjustments myself. I can overexpose, I can underexpose, um, but the camera is still deciding what ratio, that means which aperture and which shutter speed to use. So here we're gonna go into uh, shutter priority mode, which is TV on my Canon dial right here. Shutter priority mode is good for shooting when shutter speed is your primary concern. For example, if we're shooting action sports or something fast paced and we know that we need to shoot at a 500th of a second or a thousandth of a second to maintain a fast enough shutter speed to freeze that action. I could say, okay, I'm gonna sh set my shutter speed to a thousandth of a second and the camera will decide what aperture you know, applies to that shutter speed. So we have kind of partial control at this point. Here we got AV mode or aperture priority mode. And this is a good mode to shoot in when your aperture or your depth of field is most important. So if we're shooting landscapes, um, and I want to get a lot of depth of field, you know, I'm going to shoot at f16 or f18, that's my f-stop, that's my aperture. So I set the aperture and then the camera decides what shutter speed to set. So again, this is an, a, a good setting or, or a good mode to shoot in when you are concerned with the aperture. And it's important to note with each of these AV and TV modes, 
you can compensate, you can overexpose and underexpose with the auto exposure compensation dial, which, you know, read your camera manual, you've got it on there. That's a good way of, of overexposing or underexposing a half stop or a third stop or a full stop and kind of micro adjusting that exposure.